what's up welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is Steph and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys what I got during the Sephora sale this is my like third slash fourth video it's the fourth video I'm filming but I think it might be the third video you guys see about the Sephora sale I've talked about it a lot um it's just for me personally I like to plan a lot of my shopping at Sephora around the sale coming so I really try to like bolster my reserves so to speak pick up the new stuff that I've had my eye on all that sort of stuff to try and limit my Sephora shopping throughout the year now I don't necessarily do a great job of limiting my Sephora shopping through the year but I definitely don't spend as much as I used to I'm like very intentional with what I spend now it's like I really need something I really want something or like I for an event whatever so you know I, I try and justify the girl math that way but anyways if you guys want to see what I bought from Sephora let's jump into it okay I'm gonna talk about the oh, sorry I'm gonna talk about the open things first because I have them on my face slash have used them on my face so we're gonna start with the two tools that I picked up the Sephora sale I really wanted to get the Sephora collection pro like brush gift set thing um but that sold out actually really quickly because I think the Sephora collection is 30% off during the sale um so it's a pretty good deal to like pick up those sets and then you get like $30 off like the $100 set so they become quite like cost effective per brush um but the other brush that I really wanted was in stock and then the other brush which was the hourglass hourglass brush also sold out but that was a really expensive brush so I'm like eh, on it um the first is this is the face three brush from Patrick Ta I've already used it I used this side for the blush the powder blush and this side for the cream blush today this is 61 dollars uh regular price Sephora on their checkout doesn't <clears throat> excuse me doesn't amortize the discount across all of the products it gives you a total and then the discount at the end so it's nice because I can actually give you guys the full price um of these so it is regular it, but then I can't tell you like the discounted price kind of annoying um yeah so regular $69 sorry $61 regular price which isn't bad for a like dual ended brush like this because it's like effectively two brushes in one um it's quite nice quality the bristles are really soft and i have enjoyed using it so far i will have to say this is like a little big for the pan um but i guess it's okay it's just gonna be like a pain once things like hit pan to like really get into it you know but so far i'm only using this with patrick ta blushes um i don't think i'm going to change that just because this brush is formulated to work with his products and I want to keep like you know the in-kind colors across but so far I really like it my only gripe is literally the fact that it's a double-ended brush I don't like double-ended brushes because I feel like whatever side is at the bottom of my pot gets disgusting and I just don't like it so that's like my only gripe about this the other tool that I got is this Shiseido eyelash curler this is the holiday one it comes in like a packet like this and the Patrick Ta brush comes like this Patrick Ta's packaging is like really nice it's like rose gold um but it's not like chuggy rose gold um there was definitely a chuggy rose there's like a rose gold face for a while that was like I now look back and I'm like oh my god that's so chuggy unfortunately it just gives me the ick like I give myself the ick about like the rose gold stuff that I have but this is like nice because I think it's like a little bit more like it's like a little cooler toned pink and it's like you know but yeah anyways <laughs> sorry it's packaging but yeah so far I curled my eyelashes with this today because my lash lift has finally kicked the bucket um it is it's left the building um but for the holiday season I think I'm gonna get another lash lift because I just I love it I love having it but I need a lash curler because I can't get a lash lift every single month um so it's like every time I need it it's too expensive and it is too uh chemically so I don't really want to commit to that so I need a curler so far so good I'll like let you guys know how I feel about everything going forward the next thing is the Patrick Ta um 
Let's see exactly what this product is called. The Monochrome Moment Precision Lip Crayon in She's Humble. This is $35.50. I think, yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's Humble. This has been out of stock for ever like there's only been a couple colors in stock so this is one of the ones that came back all four colors are back now again like his packaging is so nice love it love to see it um and it's just you can see on the back here nude i have it on my lips right now this is not like a crazy intense color Like I've already used it, you can see. It's not crazy intense for me. I have quite pink pigmented lips, but what this does is it allows me to add, it's just gray enough that it adds like shade to my outside lips, which helps them look a little bit more full. It helps define them a little bit. It creates that line between my lips and my skin. And it just works really nicely. I currently have the Dior Lip Glow Oil on, which, People talk about the dupes. People talk about the dupes for this bad boy all the time. And honestly, I would just say just get this. It lasts a long time. But it works. It is really sticky though. Not sticky. It's like thick. But I think for like that ultra glossy look, you kind of need it to be a little thick because it's got to last, you know? The next thing that's on my face are the blush and the eyeshadows that I'm wearing right now. Well, eyeshadow singular. This is the Patrick Ta... What is this? What is this? Major Holiday Face Palette. She's so cute. She's so mirrored. I love the pink packaging. I'm not really like a pink girly besides this, but it makes a nice pop. So I used a combination of these two today and uh, I used this color on my eyes. This is so crazy pigmented it's unreal um same with the blushes as well i used first this color all over and then i added the darker color to the apples of my cheeks and then went back and like diffused it and then i just used this cream blush on top patrick ta's blushes are formulated to be um powder first cream second and it does create such a nice glow I'm gonna see how it wears throughout the day and I will probably give you guys a little bit of a 411. This is the packaging it came in. Like it's it's chromed, but it's like a matte chrome. Oh, I love it. So luxe feeling. Um, but yeah, I will let you guys know how it wears at some point, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, okay, more fun makeup things. I got the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette this is 92 dollars. i sorry i keep like on my teeth and i hate it like i watch it back and i have i don't know where i picked it up from it is just to me personally i don't love it it it's like a filler it's like um like all the time it's a filler thing i don't know where i picked it up and like when i started doing it but i need to stop, need to stop. um i bought the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes Palette for Greece because I have a similar in kind palette by Morphe but the Madison Beer one which is great it has a lot more glitter in it and it has shimmer shades and all of that but I wanted something really compact and I if you guys remember when I was away on vacation brought a separate like sparkly eye topper to use and I really liked that kind of thing where instead of having a shimmery eyeshadow, I bought a more trans I brought a more translucent eye topper that I could wear alone. Kind of how I'm like I'm wearing this one today from Patrick Ta. Or I could put like a brown color or a black and whatever and build up and make like a really glitzy eye like that way, but have whatever base underneath. I like that more. Plus I was thinking more on like for dinners, for day to day, whatever, if I wanted to wear makeup, I would much more like, I'd be more drawn to a matte look. It's just easier. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so then I picked up this, which is the Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette. Now this does have more of that like 
sparkly shimmery sort of eyeshadow vibe there's definitely like a shimmer shade uh, maybe a lid topper shade i don't know but this is very much more like brown pinky it's ethereal it's like victoria's secret like 2010 eyeshadow makeup like height of the vs show makeup situation would be this palette i think this palette is a great complement to the master mattes and these two palettes definitely do what the madison beer palette does um however the madison beer palette i hate to say it i mean of course i mean like i'm not hating to say it but like these shadows what the hell is that i don't know if you guys can hear that that's like shaking my room um these are just buttery like they are so nice they blend beautifully they're so easy to work with and you know if like for instance like i'm going to a couple weddings i have a couple weddings next year um but two of them are abroad one is in the uk and one is in greece and i am potentially going to be like they're literally a month apart like legitimately a month apart so I either go to London and come home for two weeks and then go to Greece or I go to London and I stay in London at um, the flat that we have access to or like stay with friends or whatever. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be staying for the whole time or not, but something like this, which works for both weddings, both wedding outfits, I can take is going to be like key. Um, I don't like buying makeup in the UK because it's just like 10 times more expensive for things for some reason and i actually feel like no shade to the uk people who watch me um i'm sure a lot of you will take this in agreement as well the selection is not as readily available as it is in canada because of canada's proximity to like the us and stuff um i find that like the lack of sephora really gets me in other countries um and i think that's just like my privilege of having a sephora like close to me but I really do feel like in the UK, like when I was visiting my boyfriend when he was doing his master's there, like, and I ran out of foundation, I needed to buy foundation. It was just like, it was like, yes, I could go to a department store that had good things. But like, for instance, if I wanted to find like summer Fridays or like some of this, like, like Patrick Ta, like all of this sort of stuff, it's just a lot harder to come by in the UK for some reason. You know, I'm sure that's changing always but yeah it's just better to like have my staples with me that will like work you know okay moving on um this is the refi this is their like new holiday kit i'm really excited for this this is the refi red lip collection um lip and cheek set it's a red so it has a lip sculpt in red tinted lip gloss in red and a cream blush in cherry i have not had the best of luck with refi's um lip liner and i'm hoping that the one i got was just a bust um i don't know if anybody else really has the same issues that i have with this stuff so we'll see i mean i'm having issues getting this out of the packaging holy moly um oh okay well that's i'm so dumb I'm not actually dumb, guys. I'm just scattered. I was up until... So, my boyfriend has applied to a master's... Like, an MBA program. And we are both a little on edge about... Because he's done everything that he needs to do now. And it is just down to him, like, waiting like on our side it's just like a lot of waiting um we can't do anything else we can't there's nobody to call there's no there's no more interviews there's no more testing there's no more essays nothing we are we're just in the waiting period now you know like after you apply to school you have to wait and we're just like waiting <laughs> and he is a little anxious and I'm a little anxious because it's like it, it like he really 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 wants to do this like this is something that he is like planned for saved for it's been a part of his like grand plan for the last maybe like 10 years so 
even longer so it's like a big big dream big accomplishment for him so i'm just like sitting here like i i want him to succeed and like have his dreams come true but it's like we're now waiting and it's like wow it's nerve-wracking but yeah okay back to the makeup so this is the kit um i don't know if i can even get this out this is the tinted gloss let's let's actually do the liner okay i can get it i can get everything except for the blush out pretty easily apparently oh my gosh they have like taped so many so many sections of their packaging for no reason so difficult like i said i've had some difficulties with this in the past like with my neutral one that i have where the top like eats my thing um but yeah i don't know if it's just me but i'm a little always scared let's put it up a little bit i don't know if it's up enough for you guys to see but i'm like terrified of this you can kind of see it i don't know like it's supposed to be on product focus okay so you can kind of see i'm gonna just put it on my hand I'm just working it down until it's flat. This one seems fine. Okay. This is the color red. It should be really nice. They have like the cover. This is like a really glossy, beautiful red. I'm going to wear this lip combo to the Eras, Eras Tour movie, Eras Tour movie. So I will report to you guys. Um, after Thursday about it, you guys will see Thursday if I can film a get ready with me, if I can get downtown fast enough. Um, yeah, this and all of the stuff in it. I'll give you the update after the fact. Okay. okay. I have so many boxes around. Okay. Um, the next is, let's do some re quick repurchases. Um, repurchasing the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask. This is in the clear one. I love this. I have a half finished one right now sitting next to my bed. So this is just a restock um, in case, like I think I'm gonna finish that one before the next sale. So I just didn't wanna like be without. Um, I really, really like it. I also picked up this value set from Jack Black. These, I really, 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 really like these. If you guys have um, watched my last few videos talking about products and stuff, I, I mean, I've always loved these chopsticks, um, but I've been using the Summer Fridays ones a lot recently, and then I started to run out of a lot of these, and then I started to wear them again because I was like, okay, like I'm like running out, in, like especially in Greece, I was like wearing it on the boats and stuff a lot. And I just realized how much I like it. It's like a matte. Like the Summer Fridays are glossy. This is pretty much like a matte finish. So for a day-to-day -day sort of like matte gym lip sort of look, I have been really, really liking these. This was um, quite a good deal. I think in Canada, these are like almost $10 a piece. And yeah, so this was, oh no, they're more than $10 a piece because this was $40. Yeah, was, there must be like $11 or something, but it was good got it on sale i use these always my boyfriend also uses these so so long as i don't like i find that if, so long as you don't open them they're pretty good and you just have to like make sure to like wipe off the applicator and they're great but these are gonna go in storage for a minute i'm gonna finish this one here i'm gonna finish the one in my bathroom and then i'll break these out because those two and the one in my purse are my last three. Oh, and i have one downtown but those are it okay next the Happy Soul Bronzer, uh, sorry, the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick and Happy Soul. This is a repurchase. I'm almost done mine. I've had this since Italy last year, since before Italy last year. This is, it's so grotty. It's so grungy, but this is what's left. Foul, I'm so sorry, but like we are, we're working our way through it. It's rolled up as high as it can go. So I'm just stippling my brush in to try and get the rest out. This is pretty much on its last legs. Then I bought another um, milk makeup oh, milk makeup hydro grip base. I have like a quarter left of my other one, but again, that's like I might run out of it before the next sale, so I don't want to be like 
in between. Then I also picked up the Tatcha the Deep Cleanse. I am almost done the rice cleanser, so I need this. Anyways, I usually get the big size, but they just don't have a lot of value sizes this year of things that I use, which is really annoying. So I'm back to like these little guys and I, I tend to go through one of these every six months, which isn't terrible, but like the value size lasts me like a year, a year and a, like a quarter sort of thing. So it's definitely a big like change because the value size is also only, I think it's like only like 50% more than this. Um, and so I get it on sale every year. It lasts me like a year and a bit. It's perfect, right? Definitely should have bought more when they had them. I just kind of took for granted that they would bring them back, but they're not. But this is my favorite cleanser for in the shower. It has light exfoliation. It's great. I can't say enough good things about Tatcha. Um, so yeah, now I have one on my like one on my counter, like at my sink, and one in my shower. So I just am using the same one for both. And that's what I got to say about that. I thought I was going to repurchase the Summer Fridays Amino Acid Cleanser. I do really like it, but I thought because I still have the rice cleanser that's still going with the purple one, and I still have one of these that I bought for Greece, I would just switch the one in the shower, like one the one in the shower finishes, switch it back to this, then finish the one that's on my counter, and then get the Summer Fridays instead of I could have, I guess, done like a different swap, but I'm okay with this being like my everyday, like twice a day cleanser. So I'm not that fussed about it. And I would rather buy this that I really, really like than the Summer Fridays, which is only like, um, I'm a little mid on it. I do like it, but it's like, it doesn't do for me what this does for me, if that makes sense. But yeah, this is a backup while I finish things up. More backups. This actually, this is the Summer Fridays Retinol as I was waiting for this order to come in. The pump like ran out and now I'm like scraping the retinol. So this was good. I bought one of these in the spring and it lasted me until now. This is not an everyday item for me. It is an every once in a while, like every few days sort of thing. I don't, I don't use it all the time. So I don't really go through, but this has made a really big difference in my skin and I really like it. It's very gentle. And if you are somebody who is scared of retinol, this one is pretty good. I also really like the first one, but that I get from shoppers or you can get from verse.com, etc. You know, thank you. This, uh, the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. I love it. I love her so good. This, I have used maybe seven or eight bottles of this. Um, They last me like once a quarter. So I really should start buying like two of these. But yeah, I really like this. It is like, perfect 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 serum for me i really like it next repurchase is the glow toner by charlotte tilbury i love this now typically during the winter i use this this and magic cream but this year charlotte um sephora isn't carrying the charlotte tilbury refill for the magic cream that i use so I couldn't buy it on sale and I decided that I was going to, I missed the Charlotte Tilbury sale as well, which was dumb of me, but I'm going to wait till Black Friday and see what goes on sale then if like Charlotte Tilbury has any value sets and that sort of stuff where I can get the refill Um, because I don't need the outside. I just need like two refills, but um, so yeah, I normally use that as my winter skincare, but they didn't have that. So I only bought this from Charlotte Tilbury, which is weird. I usually feel like I have more Charlotte Tilbury stuff in these sorts of hauls, but it is what it is today. Glow toner. I love this. It is like really hydrating, really glowy. It sits so nicely underneath makeup. If you are somebody who has like combination dry skin, I recommend trying this out if you want. It has niacinamide in it and it just like... I don't, like, I don't know. I think like for so long growing up, I had acne and I was so focused on acne and oily skin and pores and stuff like that, that I didn't pay attention to like dehydration and moisturizing part of like a skincare routine. That's like super important. So my skin barrier got absolutely wrecked at a certain point. And now that I'm a little bit older and like, yes, I don't have to treat acne as like a main concern anymore. But something that I have found is since I've like really consistently taken care of my skin barrier through like, like hydrating, like hydrating products, 
and stuff like that and like ceramides and like hyaluronic acids and niacinamides all of that sort of stuff and focus less on like the vitamin c's the salicylics like all of that and just like used a retinol every once in a while at night my skin it looks pretty good looks pretty good i gotta say so i think it's just a matter of you know that age whatnot oh gosh you might die you might die <gasps> Okay, you're plugged in. Hopefully it's enough to last till the end of the video. Okay, I'm gonna talk really fast now. So the next thing I got is the Summer Fridays Rich Cushion Cream Ultra Plumping Moisturizer. This is going to replace my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream until I can pick it up. Then I think this is gonna become either like my night cream or my day cream, whatever is lighter compared to my Charlotte Tilbury in like deep winter. But I love Summer Fridays. Obviously a lot of my skincare routine is Summer Fridays. Um, there's products just work for me. I don't know. They just do what they need to do. So I'm hoping that that works out. And as the weather is going to get colder and drier, October has been really rainy. So it's not super dry yet, but definitely like November, December, January, February are like quite dry. I do need, find myself needing hydration on the combination sections of my cheeks and stuff. So hoping this does the job. Finally, I got a limited edition hourglass palette. This is the snake one. I had another one in my cart. It also sold out, um, like the lightest one. Um, effectively, what I did was I put the two in the cart that had the most new colors, like palette exclusive colors in it, and it got those. But I like these hourglass palettes, and I like the fact that hourglass is now actually inclusive-ish with their sizing. wait oh no i got the snake okay okay i got the snake um so yeah i just picked the ones that had like the most limited edition coloring in it this one it's a little bit darker so this one i definitely wanted more of like the i wanted the light one more um let me like pull up what that is oh god i wanted the lighter one because i wanted the like to, like the tones more um but I, or sorry i wanted jellyfish because that was definitely like more but it sold out really quickly and i did a look through all of the things like i said of the ones that were like they have a breakdown and there's like so many like new colors and this one actually has like the most new colors it is a little bit like dark um for me normally but it'll make a great summer palette and then i have the other one last year that's like the mid-tone one but i do like that they've actually decided to cater to different skin tone skin tones and offer more shades because for a while i was like i honestly can't recommend hourglass stuff because they just don't they're not inclusive but they are a little bit more inclusive now so i feel less bad about it but like i think they could still on the foundation front especially i think they can do a little bit better i think most brands besides like fenty pretty much can do better but that's a separate topic for a different day but yeah that is everything that i got that's arrived so far the other thing that i purchased that from this like round is just the Kerastase conditioner in the value size that i own hopefully it arrives they might cancel it out because it's now marked as out of stock and it wasn't like easily listed under the Kerastase product description so we'll see if they actually ship it to me if not, no big deal. I still have a ton. I just thought that I'm going through this conditioner and I really like it. So I'll get the value size, then I'll have it. And then, you know, by the time I'm done the value size, I'm sure I'll have either a want to repurchase it, like get the refill refillable version from Kerastase itself, or I'll be like, no, it's time to move on. So we'll see if that arrives. But yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.